Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do um, what we call a life check-in spread. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Aquarius. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we pull five cards, one for career, one for finances, one for love and rope, love and relationships, one for friends and family, and one for spirituality and well-being. So let's see where we are, Aquarius. One for career, one for career. What do we have to say for career? Very nice, the night of Pentacles or the Knight of Disc. See that? Um, okay, Aquarius, you're working very hard. You're dedicated. You're loyal to seeing something through, to seeing a profit or making a profit in something. Something is profitable. Um, you need to examine the profitability also because you can be so stubborn to put in all of your energy, effort, time into something and it's not gaining um or you're not reaping uh, the gains that you should be. You know, it's not leveling out. It's not equaling up. You're putting in this much work, effort, force, and um, you're not getting, you know, uh, what is due out of that. So you might want to look at how you can work more uh, efficiently, maybe even in terms of effective, you know, effectively, but definitely efficiently. Um, what is efficient for you to do so that you can maximize your profit margin? Because um, you're dedicated, you're loyal, you are, um, you know, stuck here like a bulldog in terms of getting this through. And you're also uh, doing some really quality work. You also are being guided by spirit, a guardian angel. You know, says the Knight of Pentacles. This this is typically the guardian. It says a guardian angel is helping you with your work work ethic. Um, make sure that you you you're doing all of your work. You're doing some high quality work, but make sure that it is uh, getting you where you want to be. Uh, this is not an overnight success with the Knight of Pentacles. But at the same time, you always want to have evaluation and reevaluation of your work, your effort um, to see what the profits are. Is it matching up? Where can I be more effective or efficient? OK, uh, so that I can cr increase the, pro the profit or project profit margin. Is it Mercury retrograde? Um, so that's good. And, and um, some of you could be industrializing something or trying to create something and put it together in, in, in mass production, you know, uh, definitely in, industrialize something. You're trying to put it out maybe to the masses or you're trying to put something out in masses um, or in, yeah. So what career looks good, career looks good. It says with the Knight of Pentacles, keep doing what you're doing. Keep at it, keep working. The Knights are still on conquest, on quest, and you're gonna conquer this thing to where you can then be the Queen of Pentacles or maybe you can skip past Queen and go to King to where your money works for you, you know? And your money works whether you're asleep or awake. Your money is is always working for you. So um, keep at what you're doing. How how are the Aquarius finances? How are Aquarius finances? If you're not okay, so they want me to go back F with career. If you are not doing the work, if you are not steadily doing something, if you don't have a routine in terms of how you get something done, your work done, um, then that's how your money's gonna show up. If you're sporadic with something or doing work, 
then your money will be sporadic. If you're consistent, money will be consistent. So um, Aquarius, that's what they wanted me to tell you. Okay, the finances. All right, so how are finances? How are Aquarius finances? Okay, the Ten of Wands. So there's something that needs to be examined in terms of your finances. Uh, there could be depletion, exhaustion, like like it all gets gone, or maybe you're doing a lot of work, um, taking on a lot to bring in finances, and then there is depletion, or yeah, resources are exhausted. And maybe at the end of the month, after all of the bills are paid, or at the top of the month, um, it seems as if you're it's an uphill battle you're trying to get somewhere you don't know where you're going you almost like walking in the dark um can't see the forest for the trees you this talks about something needing to be examined in your financial sector you might need a financial advisor you might need to sit down and talk to somebody about what you do with your money what you don't do with it how you can maximize it, even if there is not a whole lot coming in. What can you do to grow it? What can you do to maintain it? How can you uh, make more of it? The Ten of Wands in your finances, it seems as if um, some of you are having a level of success, okay? Um, success in terms of your career, the success uh, that you've created by doing something but then there's depletion or exhaustion uh, of your your finances because this is in your financial sector and we'll come back and clarify that in just a second um it seems as if you're working to to no end you work 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 get the money pay the bills money's gone or it, it, it's fading or or maybe you you know you overspend because you overworked mm. maybe so there might be some direct correlation to that when you're taking on all those hours and you're doing this and doing that and the money comes in you kind of go into um your emotions and it's like shit i overworked for this so i am going to buy that thing or i am going to go on that trip so maybe that's where the exhaustion the depletion comes in um victimization talks to you know the ten of wands talks about victimization so maybe you feel like you're just a victim of um poverty or not having a lot or not being able to cr increase or not being able to do um some of you may have to use your finances to move all of a sudden or suddenly what do we have for love and relationship for Aquarius? Love and relationship for Aquarius. Love and relationship for the Aquarius. Love and relationship. Love and relationship. Love and relationship. Ooh, these cards are sticking. <laughs> okay. Okay, love and relationship for the Aquarius. Beginnings, the full card. Love and relationship for Aquarius. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so um, when, I, when I'm shuffling the cards here and they were sticking, um, I, I got in my mind that um, it said two cards because some of my Aquarius are in two different places. Like every Aquarius, of course, is not you know um in a happy loving relationship and then every every aquarius is not going through you know um cycles and, and transformation so anyway um the full card in the eight of pentacles in love and relationship and we won't read them together we'll read them separately so for some of you you may be in the full energy starting over going in a new direction um being fabulous fit fun and not even knowing it just being yourself um maybe you are engaging in no strings attached type of energy you just don't need that right now in your life 
uh, with the Fool card, it says that you're going in a new direction. So it says that maybe some old chapter, some old book of love and relationships that you had written in the past is over. You've closed that book or you have turned the page on that chapter and you're going to rewrite or, or recreate um, something new, something better here. Um, it says that you're taking a risk to to start over, to start anew. Um, you're going with the flow. You're allowing for the energy to come to you. Uh, you're going with spirit and you're just allowing spirit to take you where you you need to be so that you can get the outcome that you have been manifesting, hoping, wishing, praying for. So some of you are in the phase of just starting over, moving on um, in a new direction. You understand something that you were already in just is not working. It's not going to work. And you could have started this all of a sudden with this full car and Uranus governing, you know, being the governing planet of, of the full car. So all of a sudden you just said, you know what, this is just not working. You know, I have to, maybe you, you took the approach and I hope that you did take the approach of, I am the common denominator in all of my relationships. So therefore, if I want change, I need to change something about me or what I am doing or how I am attracting or where I'm going or how I look. So anyway, you can just go on and on, but you're the common denominator in every relationship that you've been in. So it's not for the world to change or for other people to change, but it is um, for you to change so you can get the desired outcome. So some of you took that approach. With the Eight of Pentacles, um, some of you might still be engaged in some cycle here. Um, you're still on the merry-go-round. This relationship goes in and out. It's hot and cold. It runs really hot and then it runs really cold. You feel like you put so much energy into it. You're so invested. You're, you're afraid to walk away because you feel like you're trying to get it to the Ten of Pentacles, that longevity, that empire, that um, we're dedicated to the outcome type of relationship, the real relationship here. Some of you are... With the eight of pentacles here yeah you're more invested than the other person and maybe this is it's, it's hard to get off of the merry-go-round now some of you have grown accustomed to the merry-go-round we, we we run hot and then we run cold you know um you could be thinking of someone over and over again. Someone could be thinking of you over and over again just to bring your energy back. They're trying to manifest you back into uh, their sphere, back into the circle. Keep in mind it's a circle, it's not a straight line. It's not an incline, it's, it's just a circle. Try walking in a circle a few times and see how mundane, bored, and pointless that is yeah so now you see how your relationship is okay yeah um so again this card talks about dedication you some of you just dedicated to this and you just you can't get out you don't feel like you can get out of this and right now you just you don't want to get out of it Um, some of you are also so busy right now that you're not focused on love and relationship and you could be back to the full card wanting carefree connections if you are going to connect with another person you want it to be no strings attached carefree <clears throat> you don't have time to invest in a relationship with another person because all of that time is invested in your work work ethic, uh, school, um, building yourself up, building some business up from the ground up. Um, so you just don't have time here. Okay, so that's how that can be read. Uh, friends and family. Let's see what's going on with friends and family. It's been a really interesting 
roller coaster with friends and family with the Aquarius from losing friends, family, not losing them in terms of death. You could have suffered um, loss, but just, you know, losing them in terms of them, them not being in your life, them still being on the planet, but not in your life. Um, friends and family, friends and family for the Aquarius, friends and family for the you have the three of pentacles. Um, maybe you're going to work on a connection or you need to put some work into a connection to, in order to see it grow. Um, there has been realignment also. Some of you, if you're, you're connecting with the opposite sex. So you may, if you're a woman, you're connecting with your uncles or with your father or your brothers or your, your male cousins or um, or maybe you have um, male friends and then vice versa if you're female then I mean if you're male then you're connected with females and aunts and so so forth um, you might need you might reconnect with a friend and or family one that you had a really good relationship with and you guys have to just really be concerned about how you can share your lives with one another how this can work. There could also be friends and family looking at you doing or putting out some really high quality work and uh, maybe they want to partner with you. Um, with, with friends or family, you guys need to do something together. Do something. Um, an activity uh, that builds, that you can grow. I don't know, it could be growing a garden. It could be, um, family reunion to where you know you'll have another one and another one um there needs to be um creation within friend and family group there's been a lot of talk but not a lot of creation you need to reconnect with siblings uh, if you are on the outs with siblings or just not close, you need to reconnect with them. Also, there's a disconnect here. There's an energy of needing to work together to see something through, to actually have teamwork, to say that we did this. There's no glue holding you to either these friends or, the, or this these family members, it's easy to walk away, to let it dissipate because there's no glue that binds you. I don't know who that's for. All right, and so now let's talk about spirituality and well-being. This is going to be a bit of a long reading, so if you don't like long readings, that's okay. You can just go ahead and X out. Um, spirituality and well-being for the Aquarius. Spirituality and well-being spirituality and well-being the three of wands very nice um so you are expanding your spirituality and your well-being um things look good for you especially in health um you have a vision of where you want to be of what you you want of how you want to reach again back to masses of how you want to make something global or or uh, I don't know um, how you you want to uh, reach different shores, different levels um, in spirituality, or different people. Um, you could be studying different different modes of spirituality. You could be you could be kind of doubling into this and exploring that. Because the Three of Wands talks about exploration too. Um, it talks about leaving something behind too. Also, it talks about waiting. It could be waiting to have some type of completion to your spirituality or to complete a project. Um, you could be learning something or writing something down or learning or you could be reading something when you read it all you feel like you have accomplished something or 
in terms of spirituality or if you get through this course or it could be reiki it could be t tarot if you're learning tarot if you get through this you can you'll move or you'll ascend to the next level uh, with the three of wands you have a vision of um of what this successful project or completion looks like um you're trying to get grounded or rooted in something in spirituality whatever you know mode of spirituality you're in um your well-being also you're, you're trying to be better in terms of your fitness your health and that looks really good you have a vision of what you want to look like or what you want to feel like or what your life should be like here let's get one card for the ten of wands in our finances what is okay the ten of swords okay very nice so it looks like a cycle is over Aquarius and very negative one the ten of wands and the ten of swords in your finances that negative cycle maybe could have spanned 10 years 10 months 10 weeks I don't know but 10 is significant 10 seasons okay of just grueling hard work not knowing where you going where is this gonna land me disappointment devastation after devastation being blindsided with this bill and that and that's really good i'm gonna pull one more card with the ten, with those two tents so it looks like the wheel is turning for you the wheel of fortune is turning for you what do we have to say for the ten of wands and the ten of swords in the aquarius um, sector in the finance sector what do we have to say for the ten of wands and the ten of swords for the okay strength very nice it's uh time for you to get through this um you have to have okay of course you're gonna have to have strength courage to get through this and it looks like by your own hand you are moving something forward um you're putting a lot of work work ethic is coming up also um investment inheritance large sums of money taxes other people's money um is coming up and being significant to you it looks like somebody else's money especially if it is inheritance will give you a leg up will propel you forward uh, taxes loans um, it looks like that's what you need to be focused on focus on trying to get or go after uh, it's going to uh, give you the strength and the courage that you need to actually pay off debts um, to get out off the hamster wheel of um, money in money out Let's see one more card for finances one more card for finances the magician very nice and the eight talks about manifestation work to the law of attraction the magician you're gonna have to use all of your resources everything that you can think of it talks about a powerful man a woman you could be in sales if you're not in sales um, it talks about sales here um, it talks about using your words in order to bring something to fruition um, it talks about a new start the idea coming um, you having the idea in your mind bringing it down into the 3d make it real it being in your mind and your heart is not enough make it real use everything that you have within you to make it real you are the magician here um, you're in that manifestation mode you're in that masculine energy where you are doing or you you have the thoughts and now you just need to dictate and do um hopefully you go to that planning mode where you plan and then you go to execution and creation okay um, but right now it says that um, a cycle is definitely over be strong because it could be a leg up coming in for you in terms of other people's finances other people's resources money that will allow you to manifest your dreams um, your ideas okay uh, maybe there could even be a powerful man 
that comes into your life that um, brings uh, the energy of manifestation of seeing your dreams come to fruition. One more card and then we're out of here. The Five of Cups, disappointment. Come out of disappointment. Um, oh yeah, and hesitation to make a decision here um, because of what happened in the past. Do know that if you lost something uh, due to you know, um, overspending money, whatever, know that it's recoverable. You just have to bridge the gap between um, it being there for you and you actually doing the work. Getting lost and bogged down in grief because it is gone, the home is gone, I lost my car, I lost my dog, I lost my job type of situation is, um, is not gonna be helpful. Um, the Five of Cups talks about feeling like something has been taken from you, okay? Um, maybe something could have been taken from you. Disappointment, great disappointment. Um, not getting or not getting approved for. What's the next thing? Just keep going. If you keep doing, spirit can keep doing. If you stop, spirit stops. If you're depressed, then it's an energy of heaven to try to get you out of that. So let's leave Aquarius with some advice here. What is the advice for Aquarius? Okay. What is the advice for Aquarius? Where, what is the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice for Aquarius? Life advice for Aquarius. Oh, wow, the Nine of Pentacles. You have all that you need, you are abundant, you can prosper, you're a savvy business owner, you're a walking garden. Use all that you have um, to, to grow, to um, continue to flourish. Um, this is the time where your your work ethic has gotten you to this place of the nine of pentacles you understand uh potential you understand work therefore you you maintain with the nine of pentacles you you always maintain it always seems to happen or stay together you always seem to have um yeah this is really good you're at a place of now you can start to explore other areas aspects of your life whether it be relationship spirituality um helping others because you're not in a place of where's my next meal going to come from or i need to go and do work so i have so i am maintained or things are maintained things are already working for you right now in the nine of pentacles what is the advice or you need to get here if you're not here what is the like? Wow, the Knight of Pentacles. Do the work, Aquarius. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles again. Be structured, be disciplined, be stubborn in terms of seeing your goals through. Um, leave no stone unturned, no T or no T uncrossed, no I undotted, I guess. Um, be, be pragmatic, be dogmatic, be um, aware, be efficient. Because it talks about efficiency too. Um, be aware of profit, gain, loss, depletion. Understand that this and the Knight of Pentacles is going to get you um, to the Nine of Pentacles, to the Ten of Pentacles here. What's the advice for the Aquarius here? Be more focused on your money, your finances, where your money is going. It matters. Things can't be up in the air and whimsical anymore. What do we have to tell the Aquarius? What do we want to tell the Aquarius? What's the, okay. Wow, the full card. You're getting some repeating cards now. Um, it's going to allow you to be like the fool, um, to take that leap of faith, to start that new business to um, have a new beginning. There's a bit of beginner's luck with you also here, Aquarius. Um, so why not take the leap? Um, 
this could be in the yeah, seven of wands create that boundary that barrier okay that that no one can penetrate if you have an idea or you have your mind made up about something and it might be a minority position it says still fight for it be the advocate for you for yourself okay um, because somebody's trying to also there's somebody trying to get your attention and trying to have that destructive influence you know in your life whatever you're constructing they want to just tear it down and look over here and do this with me and they're worried about themselves and it, it could be coming off as selfish also or self-centered or um yeah it could be coming off as self-centered here so make sure you have a boundary up okay um that you're in your bubble when you're creating um if someone wants to tear down your ideas, how you see something, how you're doing it, make sure that um, people are giving constructive criticism, not destructive. They're not coming in destructive here. These three cards fell out, the, dev, the, the death card, the nine of wands, and the 10 of pentacles. So they don't want you, look, they're saying, look, Aquarius, something in your life in your foundation is going to change immensely um, and it's going to be a good change they just don't want you to give up before the battle is won before the miracle happens the miracle of the ten of pentacles wow you go from the vice starting at the nine of pentacles and then you leave out we, we close out the reading with the ten of pentacles very nice longevity long-term goal fulfillment money in the bank money in the bank money in the bank bank investor uh, financier um, chain chain owner supply uh, franchisee um, the nine of wands talks about Protect your identity too, the seven of wands. And your your ideas again coming up. The death card. Um it's gonna be a complete change to your foundation. To like something's gonna be uprooted. Okay. Uh it's gonna some way of you how you used to live ends and then there's a rebirth. Don't give up for the miracle, okay? But the nine of wands. I know you've been bruised, battered, and been through so much. The Ten of Pentacles is here. It's in sight. Just keep going. That's the advice for you. Keep doing what you're doing, especially if you are out there and you are working hard. Yeah, the Ace of so we had no Aces show up. That's good. That's really good because um. The aces are good, but they're new starts, right? So you have to grow it. You have to progress it. When, sometimes when you see too many aces in a reading, um, unless it's new energy or it's something new, and that person has indicated that it's new, um, it, if it's not new, <clears throat> it might just be a lack of progression. Sometimes the aces can read as a lack of progression. And several pages in a reading can, now I'm giving you tarot lessons, uh, several pages in a reading can sometimes read as um, false starts, all these different, you know. So I like the fact that we got some real progressive cards. We got nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, knight of pentacles. We got some really progressive cards. Um, we got some some endings here with the ten of wands and the ten of swords we're almost at the ending with the nine of wands um yeah we got some 
where you're down the line here. You're not just starting out. So I, I love this energy for you, Aquarius. I want to leave you with one other butterfly oracle card and we'll get on out of here. I hope that this life spread blessed you with some information, maybe even some inspiration. Um, you should click off right now and do some work. Whatever work you do, there's always something to do, right? Um, get started. Keep doing it. Especially if you're doing it for yourself. Because it never ends. All right. Adult children. Okay. So, um, adult children. You you could be an adult. You are, yeah. Well, you are an adult. It says, keep the faith fell onto the floor. Yeah. With that nine of wands, keep the faith here. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, Aquarius, even when it looks like it's not. Adult children, um, at the bottom of the deck, spiritual growth. I want to know what this is about in terms of adult children. Your adult children, it, you may have young adult children. They could be looking at you or looking for you to give guidance or looking for you to give something. The Three of Cups, um, celebration, uh, announcement, communication, fun times, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. This has something to do with family. The Two of Cups, Seven of Swords. What is this about? Let's see what this is about. The adult children. You know what? Let me read the book. And then it might gain, give us some enlightenment. Okay. Okay, so this signals that, yeah, like I said, uh, an adult child has moved away from home, getting married, started college, um, different circumstances. There could be a grieving parent. There's a void that needs to be filled right now. You need to take on new meaning, meaningful projects as we, we talked about in activities. You were once a child who's now grown. Maybe you need to go backwards. You need to do some reparenting, some healing. Uh, perhaps your family still sees you as a child or an adolescent. Um, in these cases, you're being guided to view yourself as a responsible adult and work with your family to view you that way as well. Uh, this could also mean that you're seeking counseling help for adult children of alcoholics. Okay. Somebody, you could have a child who acts mature beyond their years and you're planning for your children's future or your child's future. Um, yeah, so some of you, especially with this Ten of Pentacles, you want to have long-term stability uh, investments um, an empire laid up for your children here. It's you're congratulating your child, children f to for going off. Like I said, announcement, celebration, um, something new, a new start here, a new profitable business or new profitable start. Um, something that they're really inspired to do. Um, the family is happy for them. Somebody could be getting married too. Your family could still be looking at you as a young adult or no, they could be looking at you as a child and you could be getting married. You could be sneaking off and getting married. Somebody, is, there could be someone looking at you still as a child or adolescent and you, um, you have like some solo plans to go it alone, to move away, to take what you can and um, shift your energy this is really good um, Aquarius many blessings to you I hope that this reading blessed you if it did go over to the website book your own reading um, thank you I think I might put this up the life um, spread reading on the website to where you can get some insight about your life life check-ins right 
All links are below. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.